Yes, uh, today's CCM flashback is none other than Sandy Patty. Most people probably know her. Uh, I, I, I was thinking the other day when I kind of set this up with you that I really just can't think of uh, what we now nowadays call as CCM music without Sandy Patty in there somewhere. <laughs> as you know, uh, she she started back in the late '70s, kind of after the uh, the music scene kind of changed from Jesus music into this what we now know as CCM, and uh, she actually grew up in a uh, singing family, in fact, sang with her parents uh, as a group on their own with the church that uh, her parents worked at uh, back in the day. And was then that she, in Indiana? That was in, uh, I believe that was Indiana, actually, yes. Indiana seems to have put out a lot of contemporary Christian musicians. Yeah, she was actually born in Oklahoma City, Oklahoma, but they moved to uh, Indiana shortly after that. And uh, she actually en ended up graduating from uh, what was then known as Anderson College, now Anderson University. Well, I'm trying to think. I know uh, that's actually in close proximity to uh, Gaither Studios, what was then known as Prime Book Studios, and uh, I bet I bet that's probably how she got involved with uh, Bill Gaither and his uh, trio back in the day. And in fact, she's one of the many that we've talked about before that kind of got their start through the uh, Gaither Trio uh, touring. Okay. Now you mentioned, and forgive me for interrupting you, but you've been saying some things that have piqued my curiosity. You said that uh, I think you said she was in. I said that she kind of came in on the outskirts of that. Uh, she did her first uh, LP for Milk and Honey Records around 1978. So she was just a few years right after that. GS Music is more toward, uh, I guess, the early 70s, about 69 into uh, maybe the mid-70s or so. So she's just on the little outskirts of that. I'm sure she may have heard some of this uh, earlier stuff as she was growing up, I'm sure. But by the time she did her first uh, record in 78, uh, it was... I don't know if it was actually coined the phrase uh, contemporary Christian music by that point or not. It sure might have been by that point. Okay. Well, I will try not to interrupt you again. Sorry. <laughs> well, that's okay. Um, but as I said, I, I really can't think of CCM music today without uh, the music of Sandy Patty somewhere. In fact, this is from her uh, first Christmas album, which I believe came out in 1983. And this is the title cut we're going to hear today called The Gift Goes On. And I kind of put it in the, uh, in the uh, information I sent you that I'm calling it a uh, gift goes on medley uh, because normally when we used to play this song on the radio you just hear the gift goes on and then it would stop because they, they re really released this as a single but when you listen listen to the album the album of it where the song comes from you can see that it kind of just gradually fades into the next song so as we play this today I told uh, Doug we'll set this up as a medley because it kind of goes into the next song anyway on the record as you'll hear in just a second and uh, we're gonna mix this with um, Christmas is especially for children as like a uh, medley thing <laughs> from that same album, The Gift Goes On from 1983 on Impact Records. Excellent. Hey, i got a story for you, very quick, a very short story about Sandy Patty. Uh, when I was working in Detroit, we put a concert on in the uh, Fox Theater with Sandy Patty, and that was like 1984, 83, 84, and so I was meeting her, uh, you know, I brought her on stage there, and I met her at what might have been one of the first big name concert she ever put on. And, uh, I mean, she may have done that, but as far as I know, the Fox Theater is a big deal. Well, I, about a year ago, Terry and I went and saw her in her final concert. Oh, wow. I thought, how interesting to be able to see somebody in their first and also hear them in their last. Or what they consider their last. Year. But a lot of musicians seem to say that they're in their final concert and they keep going on and on and on. And on. Right, exactly. <laughs> Right. And a great song for the season. Wonderful Christmas song. And uh, listening to it when, uh, when you told me that song was played, it's just uh, wonderful to hear that song. I haven't heard that in so long. So we're going to go on with The Gift Is On by Sandy Patty, and you'll be back here next Sunday, correct? I sure will. Thanks so much. All right, Steve, and I will talk to you later, and thank you so much, Steve, the librarian, and you are a superhero. Steve, the librarian, Erickson, and... Uh, The sun, the sun gave the spirit, the spirit gives us life so we can give the gift.
wrapped up in a Christmas bow. God gave each of us a present on that night so long ago. It's a gift that keeps on. Oh. 